Let me just, uh, so, so you're a chef, you've got a restaurant that you're at? I'm not a chef, I'm a server at Crate oh, cool. Fish Farm. So, uh, the number one question I'm asked well, every day. Well, first of all, let me get your name and your title. Then. Yeah, Eric uh, Pfaff, I'm a server at Crate Fish Bar and 81st in Amsterdam, where it's a sustainable seafood restaurant. We were actually the first restaurant to pair with the Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch Program, and we also work partner with the Billion Oyster Project. Awesome. Okay, so, so what's, what goes on at your restaurant? I mean, you guys are So we're 100% sustainable. All of our items come from the Monterey Bay's uh, good or best list, and one of our best sellers, which is on the best list, is Barramundi, which is always the number one question I get asked by our clientele is, what is barramundi? Uh, we tell them it's Australian sea bass. Me being a server, I have a little bit extra. I, there's an old folklore story that goes behind it. They called barramundi passion fish because of a young girl who was supposed to marry a tribal elder, but she didn't want to, so they ran away together. So they came to the ocean, and this was a time before fish, and they were trapped. So they decided to make spears and fight. But as they fight, every spear was shattered and shattered till they decided that the only way to be together was to go to the sea. So they clasped hands and they jumped over the cliff and that's when they became the first two Barramundi. And they say they still swim among the mangroves today. And they say the spikes in the Barramundi are the spears that were thrown at them that got lodged in their back. But they made it. Passion. So it's also known as a, an aphrodisiac. But we do oysters too, so we got that going. So with a restaurant that does sustainability, I mean, obviously there's a big trend going on and people are, are like into well, it right now. We've been doing this longer than anyone else in New York. We are the first ones to get with the Monterey Bay Aquarium because uh, we're a registered B corporation. So we're a benefit corp, always trying to get into the next bit of sustainability and uh, market that so that people know that by eating seafood and by using aquaculture, we can better feed the population in a much more sustainable, lower carbon impact way. It's also really healthy with high omega, low calorie, and it's delicious. It, we do a white miso glaze with sousing Chinese cooking wine and honey, and then we drizzle chipotle chili oil, and then do popped red quinoa on top over planter grilled asparagus. And every time that it gets ordered, it just is scraped clean. Uh, people who don't eat fish skin, devour it up, gets nice and crispy. It's light, flaky, and sweet. Uh, it's really tough talking to people about a farmed fish, because uh, especially with our clientele, they have been ingrained that that's a bad thing, but we don't realize that, you know, all that they've been telling you about this open ocean farming, about uh, the, the uh, strides we've made in aquaculture to make it healthier and more responsible that's honestly the only way we're gonna feed the population by 2050. We wanna be eating seafood three times a week. It doesn't always need to be a crave fish bar, but we got some pretty tasty dishes if you're looking. Awesome. Do you have pictures of